what's good y'all it's your girl alexis i'm back y'all welcome back to my channel i know y'all miss me it's only been a couple of days but you know we we get it like this your girl is back with another rant y'all this rant is going to be why i need to be some wealthy or rich man's trans sugar baby okay or wife you know it, it don't really matter to me you know what i'm saying i need y'all to take care of me basically but of course before we get into this make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram at alexis and also y'all all of my stuff that i'm linking down will be in the bio because i see y'all be messaging me and like hitting me a like what's your instagram what's this what's that y'all it's gonna be all down in the bio just read the bio you know just scroll down a little bit it's gonna be there but without further ado let's get into this video so boom i know y'all probably like what does she mean why she needs to be a rich man's trans sugar baby i say exactly what i said and i mean every part of it y'all you know of course it's going to tie into dating you know my favorite topic as some of y'all girls know dating as a trans woman is honestly exhausting it's actually getting old you know i've touched on this topic in other videos just basically saying like dating as a trans woman is interesting you know people want to lay up with us get to know us but they, they don't want to put a ring on it they don't want to start a family they don't actually want to be in relationships you know what i'm saying and on the other hand you know they just want they just want to get up in your drawers you know what i'm saying they want to see what you're working with they want to see what happens behind closed doors and that's getting old and i'm, I'm 24 y'all i'm 24 you know what? it's so funny because i was talking to my mom and she agrees that like this is the time like i need to be getting married like i don't have time for the games you know what i'm saying like i don't have time to be sitting her dating and getting played constantly so to suffice I need a rich man to come sweep me off my feet like my Prince Charming and put a ring on it or just take care of me. You know what I'm saying? Just like provide for my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? My future lifestyle. But in all actuality, y'all, like this conversation honestly is much deeper. You know, of course, there's this like stigma that all trans women are sex workers. We only think about sex, this, that, and the third. And it's like, y'all, like I said in the last video, a lot of times that is survival work. You know what I'm saying? But that's all that people see us for. People only see us as these mythical creatures that have special parts. We ain't never seen it before. So now we want to get a taste of like, you know, what's in the ocean? What's the motion of the ocean like? And it has caused people to only see us that way. And as, you know, a girl said in the last video, like, I'm a girl that wants to get married. I'm a girl that, you know, wants to do all of that. So it has made it a lot harder. And I think just being in this generation, the dating pool is trash. You know what? Like, I didn't talk, I didn't kiss a lot of frogs, y'all. When I say I didn't kiss so many frogs, it's a mess. Like, I could actually throw up thinking about it. Like, it makes me sick to my stomach. With that being stated, it's just like people come with the most bare minimum. And I, it's harder. And this is not even just for trans people. This is for cisgender people. People only come with bare minimum stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even get a nigga to take you on a date nowadays. You can't even get a nigga to, like, just seem interested. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is so transactional in the sense of, hey, I want to do what I want to do. I want to have my cake and eat it too. And of course, as a trans woman, you get the people that don't want to take you out in public. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just don't. They're not actually interested in you. It's what you can do. And that is unfortunate. And I'm the type of girl, y'all, we live in this mindset as trans women where it's like, we have to settle because who's actually gonna like us? Who's actually gonna wanna deal with us? Who's actually wants to take us seriously? Because I mean, look at the society we live in, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just not that girl, y'all. I'm delusional. I'm gonna get everything I want. I'm sorry, I don't care what I gotta do. I want to get everything that I deserve. I'm, I'm getting all of that. But I think we have to get out of that mindset and stop thinking so little, like think big bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like we need to be thinking large. We need to be thinking on a whole nother scale. Like, we are powerful, you know what I'm saying? We can get everything we want. Like we set the tone, we set the trends, we are the ones, but people have conditioned us to think little of ourselves. I know so many girls that are willing to just lay up with a nigga and give him money and do this and he does nothing in return. We shake our purse for men, we, we give niggas the worst place to stay, people to confide in, talk about all of these crazy things and they won't do anything, not even the bare minimum. They won't do anything. You know what I'm saying? And I think on our part, it just continues to make us look bad. We settle for so much stuff. You know what I'm saying? And to kind of bring up sex work, like y'all know I made content. You know what I'm saying? Like your girl done had her first share of the sex industry. And in doing that, I have learned so much, y'all. Like I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I have learned so much as far as how people should treat me, how I deserve to be treated. Because, you know, you get paid just for you being you. You know what I'm saying? Like I would talk to niggas who wouldn't do anything, wouldn't even really want to talk to you, you know what I'm saying? But then on the other hand, this man over here paying just to get my phone number. This man is over here paying to take me on a date, paying me to do this, this, that, and the third. Or just waking up and being like, you know what, just for you being you, here you go. And even to this day, y'all, niggas will DM me and be like, hey, 
here you go, have a good day. I was thinking about you, here you go. And that right there, it makes you think to yourself like, what am I dealing with? Like, I'm trash now because it's niggas out here doing what they need to do and I'm settling for the bare minimum. This man don't even, don't even wanna walk with you to the trash can. You know what I'm saying? And here he go. I ain't never met this nigga in my whole life. And he wanna pray. He wanna buy me dinner. He wanna buy me lunch. He wanna take me out. He wanna treat me nice. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it kind of goes. And after you kind of learn and kind of like experience those things, kind of such on like Shira said and like the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady, I know a lot of girls be like, Oh, like that's unrealistic, da da da. I think it's unrealistic if you think it's unrealistic. I think, you know, it kind of goes back to mindset. You know what I'm saying? Like if you think something is unrealistic for you, it's going to be unrealistic for you. It's funny because I was having a conversation with other trans women and they were talking like, do you think that it's possible for trans women to be in a marriage that's actually like good to get married and start a family and stuff? And a lot of girls were like, no, you know, it's never like this and that. And like, I kind of thought, I'm like, y'all can say what y'all want to say. I'm going to get married. If you need proof, come back to this video. I promise you I am. Like, look at me. They're, they want to put a ring on it, trust. It's kind of like if you find everything that's about you that you don't like or that you feel like is hard and keep putting it out there, it's going to be hard for you. So us as trans women, we think that we have to settle like, oh, people don't want to talk to us in public. People don't want to take us seriously. They only want to use us for sex. You're going to keep getting that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to keep attracting that. And this kind of goes back to like another video I made where I said like that I didn't cut all the niggas I was dealing with off, y'all. I don't deal with them no more. Like, my phone be dry boots. Like, I'm talking about it be dry, y'all. You know, I started to realize, like, I'm really leveling up. Like, I don't, I'm not attracting the same niggas I used to attract. I'm not protruding that same energy that I used to put out there. And now I'm starting to pull in a crowd that I'm more used to. People that actually want to take care of you. People that actually want to show you why they want to mess with you. Versus somebody like, I'm, y'all, like I said, I'm 24. I can't do the words. I need actions. I need action. And me being me, you know what I'm saying? Like, as a trans woman, y'all, our price is going up. I don't care how y'all feel, our price is going up. People know what they're dealing with. Look how they be acting to my stuff, y'all. These people eat me up, okay? Trust, they eat me up. And I think if we step into that power, we can get whatever. But like I said, like, because of that and because of things I've experienced, I want a, a rich man to, like, I'm trying to be, like, living a life, like, off of secret society. No shade, y'all. And not, not a secret, because y'all know I'm open about my stuff. But, like, I want to live that life. Like, I want, a, you know, a rich man to be doing this, doing that, taking me here, taking me there. Actually showing me. Even if it is, like, a transactional thing, like a sugar baby. Because I'm not delusional in the fact that, you know, if you're going to be a sugar baby, you got to give up a little sugar. I would rather be giving up some sugar to somebody that's actually doing something for me than giving up some sugar to somebody that's over here laying in my bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be laying, you know, in a bed in the country. You know what I'm saying? saying like fine dining and wine or whatever but i realized you know like i said y'all i done kissed a lot of frogs and after you done kissed a lot of frogs you start to realize and i'm talking about from all walks of life and you start to realize these boys are all the same you know what i'm saying like rich poor it don't matter they're all the same and with that being stated, I would rather cry with somebody that got some money than somebody that don't. Because regardless of how it is, if you get used, how, who, who you want to get used by? It's crazy because like, y'all know, I've been saying before, I don't really, I don't really look up to fem queens. You know what I'm saying? No shade. I don't. And that's because we do tend to be a little off in a way that we think or negative or think that woe is me whole mindset. And I'm not looking for that. But yeah, there are two girls that I actually look at and I'm like... I want to be like the bitches like when I say y'all and I'm not going to disclose their identity because I think they do live stealth lifestyles and uh, y'all know me I'm real open but they're trans and when I say they attract the people they want they live the lifestyles they want and I think it all started with them being delusional and I actually had a conversation with one of them and it was literally that and I'm like girl I want to be like that you know what I'm saying like I can't keep dealing with the same people that's not gonna do nothing for me and I think like I said as trans women we settle y'all we settle and it disgusts me like I heard the stories that my girlfriends say and I'm like yo why do you deal with that shaking your purse and I mentioned shaking your purse early in the video but if you don't know what shaking your purse is shaking your purse is when like you know you take care of the man and a lot of the times what happens when you shake your purse is because they see you as low or you're invaluable so they feel like you should be taking care of them they think that they should be the feminine in the in the situation you take care of them so you know who they are when it should be the opposite way around why do y'all think so many trans women escort you know what i'm saying it's because they know their value and they know that a lot of times these men they don't really care about you you know what i'm saying they literally just want to lay in the bed with you or spend time with you just to kind of get an experience of what this 
lifestyle is like in that short amount of time. So I would rather get what I need. You know, if you want to sit in my presence, show me why. Because I would rather that than somebody that's just over here who really who faking a funk and then they get what they want and then they dip. So then I get nothing. He got his cake and he ate it too and I'm over here sitting looking dumb and miserable. You know what I'm saying? And I know there are going to be people who are like, oh my God, that's not realistic. You're a trans woman too. Don't nobody like you. I beg to differ. Okay. I promise you they love me. They love us, y'all. Why do you think they keep talking about us? They don't talk about us because they hate us. They talk about us because they love us. They are obsessed with us. And as much as they want to get rid of us, we're not going nowhere. We're going to stay here. We're going to stay here and we're going to take up space. And if I'm going to take up space, I'm going to take up the best space that I can take up. You don't have to. And let me also say, y'all, because like I said, this is a rant. This is my rant. You don't have to believe in none of this. You can live whatever lifestyle you want to live and talk to whoever you want to talk to. But being realistic as a trans woman is crazy to me. We're trans. You know what I'm saying? Like, we came from a whole different start and we're here. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's so funny because this is kind of a side note. I was talking to my sister because, like, we was talking about manifestation and just, like, all of this type of stuff. And I was like... I manifested this. When I was growing up, I just knew I wanted to be a bad bee. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to be cute. I wanted to live, like, a very feminine life. And I never knew it could be like this. But, like, look at me, you know? Like, get into it. Get into it. With that being stated, me being able to attract a lot of the type that I know I want to attract is going to get me to the next point. And it's so funny because little story times. I was out of town a while ago and me and this girl, we was in the mall, we were just pumping around or whatever. And you know, there was men in the mall or whatever and we were just kind of peeping like the scene and peeping who we was attracting or whatever. And she had said to me, she was basically like, you know, based on how we look, like you would probably attract the white men and I would probably attract, you know, the niggas or whatever. Initially when she said that y'all, I took offense to it because I'm like, girl, what you mean, baby? I get niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, Trust and believe, don't be fooled. I get niggas, but now looking back at it, y'all, she was right. People are attracted to me because most of the time, and this is not my words, like I'm 100% black. People tend to think that I'm from somewhere else or I'm foreign in some way, shape, form, whether it's African, Jamaican, Haitian, Cuban, like they've asked me at all, y'all. But yes, I think that's why I attract the people that I do attract. I'm starting to kind of realize that. And just because like, you know, I'm more of like a classier girl you know i don't want to go to the club i want to go to the bar i want to do this and no no shades of the girls that like to go to the club i'm just not that girl you know what i'm saying and you know i kind of peeped that and i was like wow that's crazy and now it kind of makes more sense i still don't think she should have said that but it's cool she could have just kept that as a thought whatever because we wouldn't even on that type of love for you be saying shit like that to me you know what i'm saying but then so i had went out to this little bar now it was so cute y'all it was like so you walk in and it was it looks like a restaurant then you have to give them a secret code and they lead you to this little side door and it looked like a wall so when he pushed i'm like oh my god like, this is crazy so we gave him the code then we go in and we have to go downstairs and it was like this little fancy bar place and i was like oh this is tea so we get down there and we at the bar we have a drink so i'm talking to my brother and i'm like you know we talking about our dating life and all of that type of stuff and he's telling me his type and then I tell him my type and he's like have you thought about ever dating outside of your race and I was like that is so funny you say that because I would now let me say this y'all I'm not saying that outside of your race is like the people that will take care of you or whatever I love black men I love I don't care like I will date any race and also like I don't have a type you know what I'm saying like I talk to skinny big short tall it don't matter I like them all you know what I'm saying no, I don't like short. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't like short. But if you take care of me, I will love you till the day you die. You know what I'm saying? Or the day I die. It don't matter. With the stuff that I was saying, he was just like, yeah, girl, I think that'll be right up your alley or whatever. And you know, it's crazy because I've come to the conclusion like, y'all, I done dated people my age. First of all, I don't like dating people my age. They can't do nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand me. And I'm a very mature girl. Like, I have like a, you know, a bubbly personality sometimes, but like... I'm still mature when I need to be, you know what I'm saying? And I can be very mature and I know how to carry myself in a certain way or whatnot. So sometimes I do come across that way. And y'all, let me say y'all, these niggas done played me. I'm the type of girl, like, you know how sometimes you go through so much and then you just kind of like get to the point where it's like, I don't want to play no more games anymore. How are you going to benefit me? You know what I'm saying? How are you going to get me to the next level? I would rather talk to nobody, be alone, never talk to a man again before I ever just settle for the bare minimum. And then like these niggas done show me who I am, you know, just the way that people done me. Like it, even when I did sex work stuff, y'all like it showed me my worth in a sense because now mind you, I don't do it, but like I'm just saying, people supposed to make you feel good, whether it's taking you on dates, 
buying you stuff, gifting you, making sure you eat. You know what I'm saying? Like talking to a nigga that never cared about that thing or never got it or never wants to. You know what I'm saying? Because he thinks less of you. That gets old. Or just having that emotional unavailability. If I'm going to be emotionally unavailable to a nigga or a nigga's going to be unemotionally available to me, run that check. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm grown. Like I need to get to that next level. I'm not sitting here talking to you for no reason. That's late. I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm over that. Like I'm done with it so yes i want a, a, a older man that is going to pay for me you know what i'm saying that's going to show me because even if you're not emotionally available to me guess what i'm getting something out of it you know what i'm saying and you can take it how you want so let me also say i'm saying that but i also still like if i find my find me like a, a man that wants to take care of me i will fall in love with him one thing about me y'all it's not hard for me to fall in love but it's also not hard for me to fall out of love you know what i'm saying like i can't <laughs> Bye, I gotta go. On to the next, I get uninterested really quickly too. So kind of go back to even what I was saying like about like lately, my phone has been dry. Like I haven't been entertaining people that I can just kind of tell. Cause I know now, you know what I'm saying? Like I know what to look for. I know what to be like, you finna play me. You finna waste my time. You're not finna really show me what I want. And I'm, I'm just not that girl. Like I don't care that I'm trans. You know what I'm saying? I've had a lot of obstacles against me and i refuse to settle like i don't care like i'm trans and what am i still the good you know what i'm saying i still know how to care myself you know what i'm saying i can do bad all by myself and you're not gonna make me feel bad about nothing because regardless of what i am you still like it you still like it you still like it yeah you do you still love it actually and you finna show me why if not go find a girl that you actually want to be with if i'm not the girl for you go find somebody else but they don't, they still bother you. So show me, make it worth my while too. Cause just like you want your cake and eat it too, I want mine too. I don't care what y'all think, okay? But you get what I think since you're watching me. As a girl who's settled and who's done stupid stuff and has, you know, kissed the frogs and all that stuff, y'all, I didn't learn my lesson. And you know, it's funny. I think the, the point of my channel is to show girls like, and y'all be on this journey with me, but to show girls like y'all, we don't have to settle for nothing. Like we did seriously, like our goddesses, like we, we can get what we want and we should. Why aren't we able to get what we want just like everybody else? You know what I'm saying? I can make sure that when they do come into my space, they know how to treat me. They know how to respect me. And if I have to be a sugar baby, I'm going to be a rich man's wife or whatever the case may be, I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm not entertaining no nigga that don't want to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to entertain no nigga that just want to play me and break my heart and hurt my feelings and, you know, feel like it's an honor to talk to him. No. No, baby. It's an honor to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the prize. And I think as trans women, we forget that. And of course, you know, I'm having fun. But like, I only want to attract people that want to make it worth my while. You know what I'm saying? And if it happens to be a rich man, it happens to be a rich man. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But I bet you he's going to take her to princess. Hmm. And I want all trans girls to know that because like I was saying earlier, I hear so many things that my sisters say and the stories that they say and the things that they deal with and, and not even just them, but the stuff that I've dealt with. And we don't have to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I think we need to take some pages out of these girls' book that's out here booking these niggas and apply it to ourselves because we forget. You know what I'm saying? We forget who we are because nobody's reminding us. Society is always like, I even saw something today that was just like, they passed a law where people can discriminate trans women in public places or whatever the case may be. And I was like, oh, wow. We see stuff like that and we kind of forget our value. We lose our morals or whatever. And for men, we will lose our morals. We will know going into some stuff like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm not into that. But for him, because I, I should be lucky that a man wants to talk to me. I should be lucky that this nigga please, let me get the keys, like out of my face. I can get whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm a goddess. I'm gorgeous. I'm probably the best looking girl you probably done ever talked to. You know what I'm saying? I will never settle. And you shouldn't either. People want to humble us. Like, that's just not what it is. Like, I'm never too ill. I'm never too ill to admit that these niggas don't fade me. But they ain't going to do it again. They ain't going to do it again. I promise you that. But anyways, you guys, I think I'm going to end the video right here. I don't want it to be too long. I just kind of wanted to rant because this has been something that's been on my mind. And I just want to talk about it with you guys because y'all know we like this. Like, y'all my girls, my boys. Anybody that support me, I support you. I fuck with y'all heavy. And yeah, so like I said earlier, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at AlexisN. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing to your girl. And bye.